right, yo, what's going on guys? Chiefs here, and in today's video, we are gonna be targeting some fall steelhead. It's getting that time of year where steelhead are finally starting to trickle into the rivers after the salmon run, so it's my day off. Gonna try to fish all day and see how many fish we can get. It's currently about 6.30 or so right now. We still got another like hour or so for daylight, but I'm gonna be putting in work all day until I get into some fall steelhead. I know that there's some around. There's not like crazy numbers yet, but they're definitely worth fishing if you're gonna put a full day in. So I think my odds are pretty high. There's some def there's definitely some fish around and you know, there is always the possibility that we could just slay out. There's, there's several fish in here, but there's also the possibility that we only catch one fish. And even if we do that, it's a success to me. So hopefully we get into some fish pretty early, pretty easily, but if not, I got a couple spots in mind that we're gonna go hit and let's see what we can go do. All right guys, so we just got to the spot. It wasn't too far. It's like 6.35 right now. I like actually didn't even travel five minutes, but hopefully we get into a couple. I'm pretty optimistic. We just had some rain and it's, uh, it's, it's been really low and the water's been very clear, which I mean, isn't terrible for fishing, but I mean, it kind of is, I'll be honest with you. Like, it's not really the greatest thing. So any rain that we get right now or any more cloudiness in the water is definitely gonna be in our favor. I'm like the only one down here. Kind of sketchy when you're by yourself, I'll be honest. Nobody, if you fall in, you basically like, you're just done. <laughs> nah, it's actually, it's not that high right now, but it is only 40 degrees outside. The water has risen overnight and uh, these rocks are really slippery. So I carry a wading staff with myself just in case you make a bad step. Because I don't know if you can see right there, but that is algae all over the rocks. Slippery, insanely slippery. So you gotta watch your footstep every step of the way. And when the water's high and the water's fast, you can't do that all the time. So bring a wading staff if you're gonna do it, even if it's shallow. I don't have cleats on. That's the one thing I probably should have. Oh, that was a steelhead right there. There's a steelhead sitting right on the rocks. We're probably gonna run into fish, I'm not even kidding. On top of like standing on slippery rocks in a fast current, sometimes you gotta fight 30 pound salmon, 15 pound steelhead. And it definitely makes a challenge. <laughs> it is not easy. Some people will be like, oh, yo, 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 you know, obviously, but I don't care what you say. You try to cut land a fish by yourself, walking through this stuff, have fun, man. Have fun. Literally just slipped on rocks. <sighs> That'd be sick if you guys could see like a tunnel vision bobber down. I'll show you what they are if you care or if you want to see it. That's a huge one. It's a big one. It's a really big one. Oh my God. It's a really big one, guys. so slippery right here, I hate it so bad. It's just holding its head in that current. I feel like I'm gonna fall. <sighs> hate this situation, hate this situation. I don't have cleats and it's just algae everywhere. <sighs> just keeping its head in this current right here. I don't know how 
Lee, is it deep right there? This one might be bigger. Oh no. Oh no. I'm wrapped in the fish. Oh my gosh, this isn't even fair guys. Operation get this fish unhooked. This fish has got to be freaking 10 pounds at least. I wish I had a GoPro mount or somebody here with me. This is terrible. All right guys, look at this stud. Inhale the bead right in the mouth. It's a giant. I wish I could get a picture right now with my phone, but I'm just not gonna get a picture today. Guys, check out the steelhead. Probably in that 10 pound range. Nice mature fish. Just gonna live to see another day. Because we practice catching the leaf here. And this fish is definitely going to be caught by another person again one day. Wow. Beautiful fall steelhead, man. It does not really get much better than that. Gotta be a king. Oh. It's big. It's a big fish. I think it's a king. I think it's a big king. Oh, it's a big steelhead. It's a really big steelhead. It's big. It got wrapped. Freaking chunk steelhead right here. Probably that eight to ten pound range. I'll let her go back in. It's a nice steelhead.
this setup that I was using in this video. So for the rod and reel, bust out the Akuma Aventa center pin reel. I have got a actually a Mags custom rod. This is my new rod that I just got. I believe it's an 11.6 RX8 Rain Shadow. Absolutely love this rod. I, it's seriously amazing. It's got the perfect flex to it. So starting with the reel. We have 15 pound blood run float line. I like using this orange red. All right guys, so holding up a 11 and a half foot rod in a parking garage is not really the most ideal way to show you guys my setup. So what we have right here is we have a 15 gram plunger float from blood run. They actually just started making them pretty sweet. I've got two size three or two size five water gremlin split shot just beneath it. We've got a micro swivel. We've got 10 pound test blood run fluorocarbon right here leading to two I think these are the triple A size split shot right here. It's kind of a taper and we've got it running back down to two size five water gremlin split shot right there to another micro swivel. This micro swivel is gonna be running eight pound test. This eight pound test is going to be ran to a tandem bead rig. I haven't really ran a lot of beads on any of the videos in, my, um, in the past, but this is definitely something new so I thought I'd share it with you guys. I have some Lazy Larry easy beads. These things are absolutely insane. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is probably one of the best beads on the market. Actually, it's covered in dirt. My bad. That looks absolutely terrible. I'm sorry. This is a seven millimeter Lazy Larry bead chartreuse colored with a pink trout bead peg. We've got it to a size six Skeena hook, which is going to be snell knotted on. We've got a snell knot up top. And then just beneath it, I tie uh, the second tandem leader to the bottom of the shank of the hook right here. Just gonna be doing a standard fisherman's knot. And then just about a foot, foot and a half beneath that, we've got another Lazy Larry's Easy Bead. This is the red color with a clear trout bead peg back down to a snelled size four skeena hook. So this is the rig that I'm gonna be, this is the rig that I ran in this entire video, guys. Um, as far as leader length goes, I like to run about two and a half feet to three feet on my main leader. And for my bobber leader, since this was kind of a deeper spot, um, I ran about close to four feet, three and a half, four feet. So combined length, we're looking at about six and a half, seven feet long. So that's the rig that I ran in this video. Something a little bit different, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. It wasn't just my typical bulk shot salmon skein setup or what I usually run for my jigs. I'm actually running a little bit of a taper, as you guys can see right here. So we got two up top, two in the middle, and two at the end right here at the barrel swivel. And then as far as like any BB shot or anything like that, I kind of like to have a natural flutter in the current. That's what these beads are kind of intended to do. They imitate a single leg. So I like to let these drift as freely as possible in the water. This kind of essentially just gets your bait down and it lets this leader just mess around in the current. So that's the rig that I ran. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Something a little bit different. Finally got some center pin steelhead. It was absolutely a banger day, but I'm excited to get into fall steelhead. Not really messing around with salmon anymore. Honestly, they're, they're on their beds. They're doing their thing. They're spawning. I don't really see it being too ethical to target them at this point anymore, unless you're going for bait or something. But even then, I'm just not really a big fan of messing with spawning fish. Um, but I hope you guys I'm not gonna lie, every single time I freaking record one of these setup videos for you guys, somebody comes in, walks down, I gotta act all weird. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to help support the channel, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll be up one more Steelhead video soon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.